Okay, we're going to need a cutting tool. We're going to need to grind a cutting tool before we machine our hammer handle. And we'll also use the same tool on our nut gauge in the lathe. It's a lathe tool, right hand cutting tool. Notice I've labeled the, the top and the bottom. This one, of course, has been ground. I've already ground that one. And this one hasn't been ground yet, but I've laid it out. Uh, I have found that students find it a little bit easier if they lay, uh, lay out their, uh, the shape uh, with the uh, a scribe. That's why I've uh, put the red uh, layout fluid on this one. And notice the orientation. Notice the angle on the front and the orientation of the word top and side. So that's how you want to uh, grind your, that's the proper orientation to grind a right-handed cutting tool. So here we go. So I've laid this one out that hadn't been ground. I just scribed a couple of lines on that. And it'll be very similar to this one when I finish. So let's go to the tool post grinder and grind those facets on the cutting tool. Okay, the last thing I'm going to grind is that top relief right there. First thing I'm going to do is grind this side and the, and the angle on the top. So here we go. Notice that I don't spend a whole lot of time in one, one place on my wheel. I don't want to grind a, 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 a depression in my wheel. So you want to try to use the whole wheel. I'm not pushing very hard. I'm letting the wheel do the work. So you can still, you don't want to get, get your hand in it. So I'm, so I'm just grinding to the line. Kind of holding it up a little bit above the center line of the wheel so I can get that hollow ground angle on it. Just going to that point right there, just to the corner. And it gets hot too, so I'm going to cool it off in the water. If it gets a little hot to handle, you got to cool it off. Okay. There's our front angle. Now I'm going to put the angle. Before I touch that, I'm going to cool it off. Now I'm going to put the angle on the side, the relief, I should say. So you got to hold it at a slight angle, the relief angle. So that means I'm going to grind more off the bottom of that side. I'm almost to that corner. That's going to be my cutting edge. Okay, I'm right at the corner. I'm going to stop right there. I've got a little relief on it. And that's based on the angle I held it at when I was grinding it. So now I'm going to grind the top. But I'm going to cool it off first. I want to hold it like this. And just barely press. This takes a little bit longer. By the way, this is an option if you want. You may or may not want to cut the, or grind the top off. It's an option. Really, all you need for it to cut is those two angles I ground. 
I've already grind. So uh, if you grind the top, it's better if you uh, to grind the top with that little uh, top rake. for machining aluminum. It helps curl those aluminum chips. But again, it's optional, it's not required. Whatever it takes to cut your steel or aluminum. I still see a little red right at, right at the corner there. Just a little bit more. You don't want to go too. You don't try to go too fast around these wheels that go 3,600 RPM. Okay, that's what we're looking for. That should cut good.